Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. What we are going to be doing today is what you see on my screen and if this is something you are interested in, all I can say is stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Alright, so what you see on my screen uh, is what we are going to do and like i already said you know i've already shown you what we are going to do already so um you can see this is a very simple design if i must say just having to know how to drop in some elements and how to use them so we will try to use the most minimum time if i'm correct okay to design this so I click on create a new page and you also have to do the same create a new page and my background color is already set and with those of you who do not know the dimension of this this dimension is 1080 by 1350 okay so you just have to come to color automatically your background will be white then you set a new color this color i'm using is f69 f00 okay that's the one i'm using and you can see this very simple so the first thing you're going to do is to come into element and in element you just have to choose comic or search for comic okay and um, if you search for comic and you don't find okay this is a similar one okay but let's see if yeah you see with this we are not able to change colors okay that's why i didn't use in the first place so you can also search for comic background you understand and that's what i search for actually but i don't know why i just had to start with comic then you'd see this thing over here so when you click on it it will just appear on your canvas then you can just click on any of the corners of it okay then press alt press and hold alt and drag so that you know that's how it would increase just like that okay so you can see the color is black but we do not want to use the black color so you come into colors then we change the color okay so um you can see i use like a lighter yellow sort of in the first one and that's what we are going to do so i'll first of all choose the same color then click on the plus icon here then we can just adjust you know make a lighter you understand yeah so depending on how you want it so you can see it's looking very faint and very cool and this is how we want it okay so the next thing we do is just close this point okay and come into line and shapes click on see all in see all all you have to do is to scroll down a little bit and just search for a trapezium you understand so this is the shape i use if i'm correct let me just go up yeah that is the shape i use so um if i just click on this you can see this is how it's looking so i just rotated it this way okay and i increase the size of it you understand and this also a minimum trapezium you, so depending on the one you want you can use it but i don't know let me see let me just copy and paste to see which one i use because i i've just forgotten okay so this is a sharp one okay so i think awesome i think this is the one i use this is the one i use okay so if you right click you should see geometry trapezoid okay rather geometry trapezoid shape and um you will get you know so let me delete this delete this and let me just keep it because it's just the same thing you understand so i added it am i adding the correct shape okay yeah then i increase the size first of all and with this you can also you know do it how you want it and um you rotate it if you get it so i rotated it you know 90 degrees or no 180 rather and um, this is how it was looking then i duplicated it then i changed the color okay and this color is um okay what's this color okay so 06003d you understand then you rotate it slightly okay position it here and send it to the back oh. so just send it to the back so this is how things are looking right now you understand yeah okay so uh okay i think it's looking good for me right now so you can see what we have so the next thing we are doing is to add our text so i just press t on my keyboard and you can also press t on your keyboard but just in case your um t is not working or it's on vacation what you can do is you can just come to text okay and in text you just click on add a heading that's all you have to do then you can just add any text at all you want so this one i'll use 13 or 17.04 oh okay my number lock is off so 17.04 
and I would increase the size okay then position it here I'll increase it more because this is the main text I want to add okay then I click on my text change the color to white and when I change the color I want to add some shadows but you know where the typeface I'm using is the ICL Gotham but you can use Montreal you can use any font at all you want okay with this one i actually uploaded it in canva and this brings me to the point where i just want to say that just in case you are looking to upgrade to canva pro or just in case you want to try canva pro to know if it's the best thing you should invest in i have a special link in the description box below that can help you do that and if you want to upgrade it comes with some cool prices you know you can choose from so use the link i have in the description box below and also that's the special way to also you know support this channel because i get to earn a commission and earning a commission doesn't mean you have to pay more okay so i think it's fine with you if i'm correct i don't even know what to say so let's dive back into our design okay so the next thing we just have to do is to come to effect and in effect you click on shadows okay so this is how our shadow is going to look but we are going to adjust it by clicking on color first of all and changing the color to black okay then we click away then with the offset we keep it the same and we'll increase the blurriness you understand yeah so this is how it's looking very easy very simple very fantastic all right so now the next thing we are going to do is to add this over here okay so come back into element and in element you see this over here a parallelogram so you click and add it to your design and you increase the size and just in case just in case you can hear some loud noises outside you know this has become like a national anthem on my channel that you always get to hear background noises and then you know there's nothing i can do about it i can't go stop the traffic and things like that because where i live it's closer to the roadside so you know we just have to deal with it for now hopefully maybe in the future we'll be able to get something better <laughs> okay yeah so um i reduce the size okay and i position it right here then we change the color you understand so um this is b40020 okay so i have this over here and i click on my ship and bring it down a little bit okay so then we add our text over there so i just click duplicate okay select all and just type seal okay then we reduce the size and position it here very easy and very simple sweet smooth fantastic all right so now you can see we are getting somewhere we are doing absolutely the same thing you can see then i moved on to add some special you know these all of these texts so for this case i will just duplicate and paste it here because that's something you can do i just duplicated this text and edited it and made it smaller you understand so yeah then i added the secondary text so this is the same icl gotham but it's not a bolder one okay so if it's montserrat you're using you can use extra bold for this and you can use the montserrat classic for this so maybe let me just go in and let me just search for montserrat okay okay so you can see the extra bold would be the best fit for you know your main text over here and the same also over here and you know extra bold also for this but with this one you can choose the classic or you can even choose the semi bold or the regular uh, montserrat so you can see you this is the best one i feel you can use because of the varieties of the font it has okay so now the next thing we're going to do is to um search for 3d let me just go back okay so um 3d pyramid okay so pyramid okay and you can see what we have over here but this is the one i added so i click and i increase the size okay then you see this how it's looking so we have to change the color so we are using this red as our main color so we click on the first color and choose the red okay and um, just to make it look interesting the second color you can choose the same red okay so it means just for the bottom but we would make it darker okay so you just drop it down a little bit and with the last part of it okay you just have to choose the same red again and this time around we make this one a bit lighter you understand so that it makes it look interesting 
then we reduce the size okay and we position here so at this point it's just a matter of you being creative you understand so i will just you know increase the size position it here duplicate it um rotate you know bring it here reduce the size more so you can just create varieties of the same size okay then i will rotate this one too like this you know, so that it looks like an explosion sort of you understand yeah okay when i position this one here duplicate make this one smaller we position this one here and um maybe let me do the last one i'll just rotate this one duplicate it maybe i do the same rotate this one okay yeah. so you can see this is looking interesting you understand then we come back here and we search for um circle okay just search for circle and choose you know the outlined circle so just reduce the size make it white and we are also going to spread this around so you can see if you like you can increase the size and then just be spreading them around just like this so beautiful okay and i put this one also here you know because it's an explosion we are trying to um send out so things are things have to look interesting like that you understand so just be creative you can pause the video take your time i rent them because you are not in a rush and you don't have to be in a rush following this video so take your time and just arrange things um nicely okay all right so now that we've done that the next thing we are going to do is to um just press l on your keyboard for line okay or just in case your l is also messing up or your l is on um in the or your l is going to take its bath you can just come here and search for line and when you search for line you see so many lines so you can choose the dotted one because that's what we are going to do okay so i click on the star i choose the dotted one and i can just zoom in to see how it looks i will reduce the length of my line and duplicate it position it here duplicate this one also position it here so you can see how things are looking and we add one more okay so just in case your line isn't looking good select all of it come to position click on horizontal vertical tidy up and yeah, so that it makes it look interesting then group it and duplicate then i position this here and you know this is just a matter of you know we trying to do something cool in canva okay oh okay so i select this move it up here you can just throw it somewhere here you know just a matter of being creative and all of that so duplicate push it here duplicate you know push this one also over here you can even reduce the size okay so that things gets to look very interesting but mm, this is not looking too nice so i would um okay so first of all with the background let's lock it okay then select this all of it then you can just reduce the transparency because we don't want it to be too visible all right yeah so that it makes everything look much cleaner because we don't also want our design to look too busy sort of okay yeah so you can see what i'm just doing i'm just reducing the size of it all so depending on how you want the size to be reduced uh, let me just bring this one over here select it and um, also reduce the size okay so this is very interesting but we have some one more element to use in the background okay so if i search for the name it's half tone circle element okay so just come here and search for half tone circle okay C I L C L E element okay so yeah so you can see we have the first one over here so when you select it you just come here choose white okay then position it you know on top like this and send it backward so you just have to send it backward till so it goes to the back then you reduce the size of that one too okay and if you want you can also increase the size so much then you come to position and center it as well 
okay so the last thing we have to do is this button over here so you just have to come into elements again in elements uh, my stuff is still loading okay so line and shapes click on see or um, what we have to do is to search for this U shape over here we rotate it to 90 degrees reduce the size okay position it here increase it duplicate it rotate it to negative 90 okay and just place it right on top select all of it and group them all right then i will just reduce the size a little bit center it here duplicate this change it to shop shop now all right then we just reduce the size you can see what i'm doing and position it right here so yes i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this particular tutorial you see on my screen is a tutorial i want to recommend to you because it has some interesting tips and tricks i believe can help you so much if you enjoyed this video you can hit on the like button if you want more candle tutorials you can hit on the subscribe button if you want to share it with your friends you can just also share this video with other candle designers the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity i would see you in my next video.